there are several types of domain suffixes that you may be familiar with. These include .com, .net, .org, .gov, and .edu. Generally, .com, .net, and .org websites can be created by any individual or organization. It is imperative that you find out who is the creator and organization behind these websites. Also look carefully to make sure they are who they say they are. A group can create a website saying they are a certain organization when in reality they are somebody else and have an entirely different goal. For example, martinlutherking.org sounds like a normal and reputable website, but if you look at the information itself, you will see that it does not make a lot of sense. For this domain is actually owned and operated by Stormfront, a white supremacist organization, as a little bit of investigation into the site will show you. There are a few websites that will show you who owns a particular site. Enter the address of the website you are curious about in the Who Is website, the link listed here on the slide, to find out more information about who actually owns a site. .gov is reserved for websites run by government agencies. The information on these is generally considered pretty trustworthy and reliable, but remember that it still has a particular purpose and goal, and may not be totally objective. .edu is for educational institutions. It is probably at least a trustworthy source for information about that institution. It may also have a lot of other quality information on a variety of different topics, but be careful and look closely at these .edu sites. .edu means that the website is affiliated with an educational institution, but it does not mean that everything on this website is produced by an expert in the field. The information on a .edu site could be created by a world-renowned professor or expert in the field, or by a student. Many institutions give server space to students who are creating websites for courses or who are making personal websites. These sites will have a .edu domain suffix in the URL, but they may not be an authoritative source. Look closely at the URL and at the About and Author information. There is often a tilde in student-created websites. However, that is not always the case, and there may occasionally be a tilde in a website not created by a student. So again, you must look at all aspects of a website before making your conclusion about it.